Okay, today I'm going to be talking about themes. And I guess I'll be talking about the uh, window borders for right now. Um, when you open up your home folder here, or any window, um, you'll see that you have the, the border on top. The little handle, that's your uh, the window border. Um, there's, there's two common types. There's metacity and there's emerald. And emerald is awesome. I love emerald, but... But um, lately, it's been kind of buggy for me. I can't really get it to work properly. Um, like when I would maximize it using the Hulu desktop, it would maximize, and when it would unmaximize my window borders here, the part I would use my hand to grab on here, it would disappear. And I would open up a terminal, and I think I had to type a uh, uh, emerald dash dash replace or something, and it would come back. And it just got to be a little bit of a nuisance, so so I stopped using it for now. So now I'm using the, the default metacity. Anyways, um, when you download a, a Ubuntu theme from Gnome Look or, or wherever you get it from, usually it comes with it with the metacity theme with it. So right click on your desktop and go to change desktop background. And uh, let's see, go to themes. Now go to customize. And you'll see a little tab that says window border. That's your metacity. And I have a few installed. Like one thing that I should point out is that there's I think it's called adaptive and non-adaptive. So the default Ubuntu metacity, the ambience one, is non-adaptive, right? So if I were to go in here and change my background color, which would be the window color, say I change this this funky orange right here. The window should cha change uh, orange, see? But the metacity, the window border doesn't. So let's go to this uh, window border here. I think Aurora is adaptive. So let's see, click on Aurora and see how it changed orange. So just keep that in mind, like when you're looking for themes and how you want to, you know, make your system look, that there's two types. But anyways. Let me uh, change this because it's hurting my eyes. Go back to window border. Oh yeah, change to reset your colors. You hit uh, reset to default. And let's go back here to ambience. All right. So, like as far as the panels up here and on bottom, that's also kind of has the same. Um, the same kind of what I'm trying to show with the whole adaptive thing. Some panels are adaptive and some are not, and this one's not. So right click on your on your upper panel here and go to properties where it says background. Alright, where it says solid color, click on that. And you're gonna notice how only part part of the panel is transparent. See? See it's gray here and in the middle is transparent. Okay and some panels you can just uh you know when you hit your background color and, and it'll just go all transparent or you can actually drag a little ping image in there and make it look like a mac transparency or you can put colors in there you can do whatever you want but in this one only it affects this this middle portion right here so uh let me change that back for a second now i downloaded um some themes from gnome look let me uh, maximize it here. Oh, this is like a newer theme. This is for the 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 uh, Unity desktop. Um, I like this theme because of the the. I only like it because of the metacity, the the window border. Uh, I think it's really nice and it's adaptive, so I use that one quite a bit. So I'm gonna put a link in the description for that one. Anyways, and here's some uh, panel images for your top panel, if you have an adaptive panel. So I'm gonna be showing how to make a non-adaptive panel into an adaptive panel right now. So uh, for this one, I'm gonna be using UPixel. This is a really nice theme, and I, and I really like the uh, the metacity that it comes with. So let me uh, go in here, and I think I have it right here. So yeah, Hold on, folder real quick. Let me pause it for one second. I gotta check something. Okay, I had to check on something. I actually had some of these themes installed already and I didn't want to get an error, so anyways, let me uh 
right click on the desktop and I'm gonna drag and drop this U pixel into the uh, themes directory right here alright so drag it in here and drop it press OK now hit customize where it says controls controls is basically your your uh, your panels and your windows so uh, we're gonna separate this all the way down to U pixel click on that okay and it by default it's really already nice the uh, upper panel here has a really nice gradient to it all right but we're gonna change that because this one's a non adapted panel so let's go to the uh, window border here and we'll find the, uh, the metacity for it and that should be used U pixel as well come on where are you way at the bottom there it is close and here it is all right so now let's change this panel to make it adaptive so let's go to our home folder here and hold control and press H there it is control H go to your dot theme directory dot themes there's U pixel right here and here's your metacity and your theme GTK 2.0 inside of here there's gonna be a little file and here it is so click on this and this is like the uh, the code more or less now there's a certain little line in here we're gonna edit or we're gonna basically just uh, cancel it out so I have the little com that's not really a command it's just what you're gonna look for right here I'll put this in the description down below so copy it minimize it and uh, where are you at oh that's right it's a double tab I'm sorry okay now we're back on here this is the uh, the file code thing or whatever so go to search click on find and paste that little uh, what we're looking for so you paste that in there now click find and close it and it found it right here see these little things right here we're gonna put that right here in front so there's a hash mark there it goes now save it now what that's gonna do it's gonna like dismiss this gradient it's not gonna have it there anymore so now right click on your desktop once more one more time now go back to your theme directory your theme tab I mean go to customize and now we're just gonna switch we gotta reset this uh, theme so we're just gonna pick another one and come back to it so pick this now pick this go back okay it did it worked so close it close it so now it should be adaptive so let's go properties background where it says solid color now it's all like transparent now you can just uh, play around with it you know whatever and you can change different colors you can put little ping images and uh, that's what I did already so I mean I downloaded some uh, a theme pack I guess just for the GNOME panels I'll put a link in the description as well so here, here it is right here all this right here so uh, anyways let's uh, extract it extract here and um, I'm gonna be putting this like in my theme directory just to keep it organized but just for now I'm just gonna have it here on the desktop just to show you what it does so let's pick bottom and when it says bottom top I believe what's referring to is the stroke of the gradient like if it's going from dark to light from bottom to top or top to bottom so let's go bottom first or maybe it's referring to the top panel or bottom panel I'm not too sure but it's alright it's just you know find something that you like and just uh, drag it in here's a funny looking one right here there it goes so now you kinda get the idea how to customize your panels that weren't meant to be customized and some themes actually come 
with an adaptive panel by itself where you can just like drag and drop your own personal images or whatever you want so one of my favorite ones in here I think it's called elegant white there it is right here let's drag it in here there you go and it looks almost like the one before but the thing about this you can use it on anything you know like if you had a darker theme or whatever you could just use that instead so anyways that's that for the panels um, I'll make another video about let's see what can I do next well I'll just make another video well whatever it is you'll we'll find out <laughs>